Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 1st, 2023. Hey, I want to apologize yesterday. Um, I did the video, put everything together, and I just couldn't get it to load to YouTube. I had some kind of a problem with the video, so I apologize there was no video yesterday. Hopefully today will um, work out and um, we will be back on track. So let's take a look at uh, some of the things going on here this morning. First off, we had Asian markets mostly higher last night with the, the Japan index really surging up 2.41%, while the uh, Hong Kong exchange uh, continued to be a little bit lower, down just $10.70 on the day. If we take a look at European markets this morning, they are lower across the board. They've been bouncing around a little bit, but lower across the board as we wait on um, the Fed decision here today. We've got um, oil prices moving higher here this morning after um, yesterday's um, selling, so they're pushing back up here just a little bit. Let's take a look at how these charts are setting up for today. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. We have bonds um, ticking just a little bit higher this morning. Just that little bit of worry that's going on. And this morning we've got a couple of major events um, on the Fed side that could be um, well really important to the market. So we've had a nice little relief rally to the upside. Really hasn't gained a lot of energy. And as you can see, we've got a little bit of bearishness coming in this morning. We're showing that potential that we could reject from this resistance, maybe that pushback. I think there's a good chance, however, we could kind of chop sideways here a little bit, depending on how the data is today. We might end up in more of a little bit of a range in here, just kind of resting um for a bit but if those bears were to really come in and find inspiration for today then watch for that pushback in here there's that little support area in the chart that we might come back to we could come back into here and test that pretty easily with some bearish data notice that we have another little level over here that we could possibly swing down into on that on that market and if it gets really bearish of course we're back down here testing the bottom which would be you know setting up that potential double bottom if it can hold if the bulls find inspiration today in the data well let's look to see if we can break this resistance we broke it yesterday but as of this morning unable to hold it so watch that carefully in here if we get uh, enough good data in here today maybe we can push this back up here and maybe even start stretching up to test this resistance in the chart so keep an eye on that in the diamonds now technically very very bearish situation here you can see yesterday we popped up through that eight exponential moving average that black line um, just um, by the close of the day and as you can see our um, other moving averages are not in good shape we've got um, as you can see we've got our 30 EMA crossing down through our 34 EMA crossing down the 500 day moving average and maybe tomorrow uh, by the end of this week for sure we're going to have the uh, 50 day moving average crossing down over the 200 so pretty bearish overall here in the markets this right now we have to look at this as just relief rally only we cannot look at this as we're just ready to zoom right back to the highs let's take a look at our spy SPY also quite bearish here in the market but we did rally up and test this resistance and you can see this morning we're getting a little bit of a rejection for that so if the bears were to continue to find inspiration here today then a push back into this area we might catch a little bit of price support in this congestion area here of the SPY if they start to push back 
but if that doesn't hold then don't be too surprised if we're back down here testing these lows we just haven't had a whole lot of momentum or enthusiasm to the upside and i'll show you that here in just a moment if the bulls find some inspiration here today however let's look for this resistance up here to potentially be tested breakthrough tests up into here and then of course we're not out of the woods yet as you can see we still have this downtrend here in the chart that we're going to have to contend with um, so just be kind of prepared um, as we continue this rally back up we could find quite a few places in here that we could resist the market going up uh, keeping in mind that we rallied back up to our 500 day moving average notice we've got the 500 the 8 exponential right in there so we're still well below our 200 day moving average but if we can rally back to this next area in the chart if we can push through there then we'll be up there pretty close to that 200 day you'll want to watch all of our moving averages are coming down pretty quickly and we we will likely create a zone of resistance right in this area here so watch carefully for that if we take a look at our QQQ it's been the strongest of the indexes and continues to be the strongest of the indexes as you can see trying to hold some price support right through here in the chart it's the only stock here recently that didn't make that new low or index and you can see we're pressing back up here into the downtrend here um, now Hong Kong again was a little bit weak again that's showing us that little bit of concern for um, our um, big techs um, struggling just a little bit AMD didn't do a great job yesterday and you can see that we're um, showing a little bit of bearishness here this morning in the chart now if the bears continue that push well I would look for a push back down maybe we can retest this low here and if that were to fail probably coming back down into here if the bulls find inspiration today then uh, well it's fairly easy to see we've got all of this resistance up here in the chart it's fairly significant we would break this kind of sharp downtrend that we've been in if we do that and we might be up here testing this major resistance area of the chart so keep a close eye on that as the day progresses we've got a lot of work here to do to get bullish and if we look at our moving averages here you can see we've got a fairly significant resistance right in there and we're still below our eight exponential moving average notice our 34 starting to come down pretty quickly uh, 34 exponential the 20 day coming down we've got a zone of resistance that's being created but it's right up here at the moment that we'll want to be watching for if we do get some big extension to the upside right in that area we'll want to be watching fairly closely if we continue to see more selling there is that possibility if we break these lows that we're going to be down here testing that 200 day moving average this is the only index that has not done that so far and then if we take a look at our IWM IWM uh, still very very weak um, got a nice little bump yesterday but it just wasn't enough to inspire uh, much buying and you can see just kind of resting on this price support and if that price support were to fail to the bearish side well you can see the next level down here and that would be a fairly significant pushback we're looking at uh, 158 in the chart for that next level the Russell if the sellers come in if the buyers come in well then let's start looking through here and see if we can break some of these this little resistance area that we've got going in this consolidation see if we can pop through that and maybe push a little bit higher up toward the downtrend to find some resistance in there breaking through there of course we would be up into this next resistance level of the chart I'm not saying it's possible I'm just saying right now we're just showing such a lack of enthusiasm enthusiasm it's hard to it's hard to envision with the data that we've got coming over the next couple of days unless that data just sparks a lot 
of bullishness we're not looking too good here overall. Now, um, our IWM, uh, I continue to say this, um, it's it's absolutely awful. Um, our rally yesterday, the best we could do is come up there and take a look at the eight exponential moving averages um, and couldn't break through. All of our other moving averages are on the wrong side of each other. 500 above, 200, 50, 34, 20. We're on the wrong side of the world here on the Russell and the weakest of the indexes by far. Let's take a look at our VIX here quickly. Our VIX did pull back yesterday with this. I the thought that there was no fear um, here in the market, but mm, uh, there may still be some fear. It kind of depends on the data. Pushing back down to test some price support and trend. We did break through those um, just ever so slightly. This morning, we're with the selling we're seeing here in the pre market, we could easily pop right back up. That could serve as a test of this support and trend. And if we start to see those sellers come back in, that's where some real issues could begin to happen in the market. So watch that carefully and be prepared in case that were to occur. If the bulls continue to find inspiration, then what we want to do is we want to see this break confidently, start easing some of that um, pressure here in the market. pushing down to test some support areas and then possibly even coming just a little bit lower. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. Now the T2122 did get a nice little lift yesterday, pushing us back up here. We're at 3860. So we still got quite a ways to go just to make it halfway up um, in T2122. We've just been having a real failure of enthusiasm here, um, momentum to move back to the upside. Now, if the bulls find inspiration today, we certainly have plenty of upside opportunity, but we also have to recognize that possibility if the bears pick up on some inspiration here today, like we're showing in the pre-market, then we have a have opened a very big potential to swing back to the downside. So be kind of careful here in the market. I think anything is possible today with the data that we have coming. If we take a look at our T2108, darn it. There we go. T2108, you can see we pushed up yesterday and that was a nice relief coming up around 21 here in the T2108. 21% of the stocks above their 40 day. Now that's a pretty tough level to say, oh my gosh, we're really, really bull bullish in the market um, because we're, we're not breaking trends or anything yet. We're really not breaking through resistance levels yet in the chart, but it is a nice relief. Um, we would certainly like to see that extend a little bit more and start attacking some of these other resistance levels in the chart. We'll see if the data provides that today. Our uh, T2107 also kicked up just a little bit and that was nice to see. We are holding on to this support level in here. But as you saw in the IWM chart, we're definitely not getting um, a lot of momentum in here to push through. We haven't even tested the downtrend here in that chart. And you'll want to notice that we've got lots of resistance levels in this um, in this chart that we still need to get through. So we need something in inspiration to really get us going. Perhaps at the beginning of October is it. I don't know, but just be really careful. And then if we look at uh, T2101, T2101, here's our problem. Um, when we can, when we see the buy wave come in and what we've been seeing for some time now, when the buyers start to step up and come in and rally, they really fade quickly. And the uh, momentum of the market has been fading back, uh, breaking down. This move to the upside was on, on the sell wave. The bears had all the enthusiasm and we're just not seeing that in the bulls yet. So hopefully we can find something in the data to turn that around. But right now we're not seeing that bullish energy engender a lot of market breadth. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar is gonna be a busy one. 
we have quite a little bit going on here today. If we take a look, um, we're gonna start off with our mortgage applications here this morning. We're gonna have ADP numbers. Then we're going to have a pretty interesting um, event. We've got um, um, the Treasury Department, Janet Yellen will be coming out and announcing um, more debt raise by the federal government of $776 billion, three quarters of a trillion dollars in new debt uh, being issued by the government. So keep an eye on that. It'll be interesting to see how the bonds react when that occurs. And then we've got um, uh, our PMI manufacturing numbers that will be coming out, ISM, construction spending, job openings report. We've got our petroleum status, which of course has been pretty critical here lately um, as far as our oil prices go. And then once we get through all of that, we're gonna be thinking about uh, Jerome Powell. And I don't think we're gonna get a rate increase today. I think that's pretty much set in stone. Uh, particularly when we're trying to raise another three quarters of a trillion dollars in uh, debt. Um, I doubt the Fed um, is going to do anything with the rates, but just kind of keeping in mind that the volatility will likely be around his um, um, conference, um, press conference, because I'm expecting him to remain or talk rather hawkish. Um, with some of the data that we've been seeing here in the market. So uh, probably saying there's some hope that and, that, and that's probably why they're gonna hold the rates, but a uh, good chance um, he's going to say, we're not ruling out more interest rate increases in the future. Um, let's take a look um, after that on Thursday, we've got jobless claims coming in, productivity and cost factory orders, natural gas, Fed balance sheet. We're gonna start getting those Fed speakers out there again um, after their blackout period. And then remember, we've got that big employment um, situation number coming on Friday. Let's take a look at our economic calendar, excuse me, earnings calendar for today. And let me just say, it's huge. Um, uh, there, there's just more than I can possibly uh, cover here today. So make sure everyone that you are paying attention um, to, um, well, not paying attention, but clicking the link below the title of the video, video that'll take you back to the morning blog. Um, Aflac will be reporting today. Um, Airbnb is reporting today. We're gonna hear from Electronic Arts. We've got uh, Dash that is reporting. We're gonna hear from um, KHC uh, this morning. Um, we've got uh, PK that will be reporting. PayPal is in there. Um, we've got Qualcomm on the list here. Um, we're gonna hear from SCI, TEL. Um, we've got, um, excuse me right symbol here, Wayfair in there. Um, we've got Yum Brands and last but not least, um, ZG Zillow will be reporting today. Um, obviously got hit pretty hard yesterday. So a lot of reports in here. So make sure you click that link below the title of the video, taking you back to the morning blog. Let's take a look at some socks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, that would be click that thumbs up button, uh, uh, leave a brief comment, even an emoji helps. Um, so thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's take a look at um, some stocks setting up. And remember, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Remember everyone, you've got to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful in this market. Try not to overtrade because of the volatility of the things that we're seeing here in the market. We could wake up the next day and have a completely different look um, at the market. So follow your trading rules, follow your guidelines, your risk tolerances, and never ever 
blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at a few of these that, um, well, are interesting. Um, CRM. CRM has been trying to move up here. Salesforce, I was looking at right up here. You can see Salesforce. I was looking to see if this higher low was going to hold in here and push on through. The sellers came in, yeah, uh, pushing it back down. So we have a potential here along the downtrend with CRM that this could fail. Watch that carefully. If CRM starts coming back down, look for some new lows in here. If it can break that downtrend and hold up here, well, then we still have that chance that we could move to the upside. But right now, it's starting to show with this uh, pre-market, a little bit of bearishness right along the downtrend and that potential that CRM could move on lower. Um, take a look at uh, Mickey D's. Mickey D's has been looking good. Now I have a bit of a bias on this because I did take a nibble into this trade watching that closely, but um, you know, it hasn't been getting a whole lot of momentum. It's one of the things that we're seeing when we find long trades in the market. They're not getting that upside momentum to really go. But here in Mickey D's, you can see as we continue to consolidate in here, it's moving um, toward that earnings report at the end of January. So we've, we're past this season or this um, quarter's earnings season on this. So perhaps we could get that little bit of a lift in here, continue to rally up if things are starting to improve in the economy. Just don't look for that to move really quickly. Um, uh, let's take a look at um, uh, some of the miners out here. Now, GDXJ had a pretty rough sell um, off yes yesterday, and I, I talked about this in the morning prep video yesterday that didn't get out, but the possibility that we could be creating this inverted head and shoulders pattern in the chart. So although we did have the selling in here um, on the junior miners, watch carefully in here. If we were to bounce back up and what could cause that? Well, one of the things that could cause that is seeing those bond yields going back up like they are this morning. That possibility of uh, some major fear in the market coming in. So watch that carefully. If that were to break that neckline, um, in this chart, you can see this has really good potential of moving to the upside if it can hold. If it can't, then we're probably looking at a failure of this price support and um, more pullback. GDX is another one that I would be keeping an eye, an eye on here. Really nice looking patterns. Um, in these charts, as you can see, nice inverted head and shoulders. Let's keep an eye on that to see if this does hold on and start pushing back higher here. If it fails and comes all the way back down, well, obviously um, all bets are off um, on this. But as we continue to see the U.S. dollar strengthening and not really strengthening on the basis of the U.S. dollar, but strengthening because other currencies are weakening, we're seeing the Japanese yen very, very weak. The Chinese Yuan, very weak. The ruble, very weak. And we're continuing to see the dollar strengthen against that as we hold these rates up. And if bond yields go higher, I could certainly see um, that situation continuing here in the market. I know we've, we've had a lot of folks saying, no, the dollar's near the top. Mm. Well, um, dollar may not be near the top if other currencies continue to weaken. So um, keep a close eye on that. This is certainly a bullish pattern up here to be paying attention to. Um, let's keep an eye on um, coal. Um, I was looking at coal for that upside move, BTU, and we um, went through our earnings report here and just really didn't find any love at all. And as you can see, popped up here, hitting some resistance in the chart, now selling off. Um, so look for that next lower high here in the chart. I don't know that I would want to chase that, but if we rally here again, look for that failure along the downtrend in BTU, not looking so good overall. When we look at um, some of our big techs out here, boy, we've had some pretty rough situations here to be paying attention to. Take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA yesterday broke down below this major support area, ended up hammering at the end of the day, saying we wanna try and come back up, but I would watch that carefully. We're really beginning 
to build a little bit of downside momentum here in Nvidia. So watch that carefully. This could easily slip lower um, in that chart. And then um, that's gonna be pretty tough. When we see the Magnificent Seven um, not performing, it's gonna be really tough for the overall market to come up. So uh, be kind of cognizant of that. And then remember, we've got Apple coming up tomorrow and Apple has been dancing around the support area here in the chart. I think anything is possible here on Apple, trying to hold or, um, into this area of support, but just realizing that tomorrow's decision after the bell could either send a sharply higher or sharply lower on Apple. Your guess is as good as mine on that. So be kind of careful there. Um, I've been watching Intel here. Intel did stretch back above this little bit of a downtrend here in the chart. We've got these this massive top up here. The question with Intel, is it going to prove to hold above this downtrend break? or even break through that resistance and then prove to hold? Or is this going to be the next area, the next disappointment where Intel fails and fades back lower? Um, again, your guess is as good as mine. Watch that closely in the chart. So there's a few things for you to look at today. I gotta tell you, it's a messy market and it is a dangerous market. So make sure you're planning your risk carefully. Make sure you're planning at all. Don't be rushing in as a gunslinger shooting from the hip in this market because good chance um, the market will shoot back at you. Um, Let's um, have a great day. I want to wish everyone all the best in their trading, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Wish you all the very, very best. Take care.